Hey everybody, I am down here at the Port of Brownsville Marina here in Bremerton. You've heard me talk about, me and Terry talk about this marina before. This is where we used to have our boat rental business and repair shop and we used to pump the fuel out of the fuel dock out there. And it's such a beautiful day I wanted to come down here and kind of go do a walkabout and uh, actually go out to the visiting pier and show you some of the boats out there. But anyways, my rental business and my shop was directly there, right where that sailboat is. It was the first uh, uh, dock right on the edge, so I got to see everybody come and go. And obviously it's been a few years. It's been, I was here 82 to 87. And they've done a lot. They've really upgraded it. Brand new uh, boat launch here, which is absolutely beautiful. They've widened it, it looks like, and they brought it over, all nice concrete. There, you, over here, there used to be where you could take your boat out of the water, where you, you would uh, drive it up on uh, big logs, and the tide would go away, and you could work on the bottom. Uh, now that is illegal to do anymore, so you have to haul them somewhere to work on the bottom of them. But anyways, since it's a beautiful day, I figured I'd come down here. Terry's busy doing some stuff for the camper. Uh, and I figured I'd just come down and do a little walk around and uh, show you where I used to play all the time and have our little business. So we'll go over this way because I can't get on the main dock because I no longer know the code. And it's obviously been a bunch of years. And we'll go out to the out, uh, dock way out here and look at some of these... Um, I think they're gill netters and purseiners because right now it's the uh, salmon season. The salmon, I think I showed you on another video, uh, that they're spawning. So that means this whole Puget Sound is just, I would I'd say filled, but there's a lot of salmon right out here right now. And uh, so the purseiners and the gill netters are out here getting them before they go to go up the uh, rivers. So we'll walk out this way, go out the dock, and uh, I'll show you what's going on there. So hang on with me. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here So now you have a $5 ramp fee to launch your boat but boy they did a real nice job I was down here two years ago I want to say when we um, came to visit and my good buddy has his boat at one of the boat houses and uh, I don't think I he's down here because I did not see his rig and I would assume his boathouse door would be open. I spent many a many a days, I used to collect the moorage uh, for the overnight boaters and everything. And uh, so I spent many a many days, every day I could, walking up and down the docks collecting that overnight moorage. And uh, because it was for the people that would just stay for a night or two or like that. Well, back then I got 75 cents a boat per night and 50 cents a night if they took power. This is what they have here uh, for a pavilion so you can come out here and uh, kind of enjoy yourself. It is, it's winter time now. Well, it's fall, but it's a bit chilly, but really nice heaters, really nice construction of what they did up here. And a big old barbecue, which looks like you bring your own tank. And way out there, you can see the mountain. That is Mount Baker. Got the snow all up on it. And way up that way, you can see the, the tarp thing, that's the bridge. So they're working on the bridge that goes to Bainbridge Island. This is Bainbridge Island over here. And the only way to get on this island is from that bridge there. There's no ferry and there's no other uh, way to get on there. And I think way out in the distance, you can see the other snowy mountain. That is Mount Bachelor. And that I believe is in Canada. And also a, a thing is that um, I want to say it was last year in the news 
there was a underwater mine that came loose right out here in the um this part of the sound and they they uh came and they blew that thing up now that was on the news uh quite a while back and they were concerned about the submarines and vessels coming in here during the war and so that's why they had the mines out there during then and they must have forgot that one and then right around this corner down here is the uh government facility keyport that i went to and showed you where the uh the submarines were at or the, the underwater uh rescue rigs and i used to play out here all the time when we lived down here boats so down a ways and around that corner is where keyport is But what a beautiful day to be able to come out here and just check it out. Mount Rainier's over this way and unfortunately that part of the island uh, is a little tall so you can't see Mount Rainier. And so the fishing boats are out here now like I was saying because the salmon um, are running. So they have uh, the, uh, the big boats out here. A lot of times they're just little gill netters, but looks like they have the bigger boats out here right now. And awesome liveaboard boat right here. Lots of power for everybody. Another big old wide boat. Boy, that is a very, very wide boat. You know, I have not been down here for a couple years. Amazing how it uh, really hasn't changed much. Now I believe these are these are boats for uh, gooey ducking, and gooey duck is a big, huge clam that is um, down really deep. And so these are airlines that the, they put the uh, face mask on and they go diving for the gooey duck. So obviously they're in uh, port right now, so must not be season for that. And actually I can see they're all gooey duck boats and everything. Howdy. See, so, yeah, these are lines and then what they do is they get the gooey ducks, they put them in these cage, in these baskets here. And then at the end of the day, the buyer will be up right where we started at. And he'll buy the gooey ducks from them. And I tried many a times to see if I could buy one from them, but unfortunately, it's illegal to do that, or illegal for them to sell it to us. And that is a beauty. Look, see, so this is Sasquamish seafood people, and they're also the people that have a casino. Which, um, if you look, I'll turn you slowly way directly towards the white mountain that's where the casino is and that's the Suquamish tribe and that is the Clearwater casino boy i couldn't have picked a more beautiful day to come out here i'll say that much and so i see something going here it's something is pumping water through oh these might there might be something in the pens down there. I've never seen this rig before. So obviously something's down in here. Maybe this is how they clean the... I don't know. I've never seen this before. But obviously they have a rig to pull things up and down out of here. Wow. Oh yeah, it's moving water big time. Okay guys, I'm shooting right into the sun. So what this is then, this is a little nursery for the clams. Oh. And again, it's the Squamish tribe doing their uh, best to protect everything out here. Awesome. And here, oh, Oh, and probably a month and a half, you can come out here. This is what me and Terry used to do with our other boat. Um, 
years ago. We'd moor over here and we'd bring, you take a take power and put a big old light over and hang it off the edge and the squid would run at night. Well, they, they'd come up here and they'd be at night and you could jig for them. Now you can see just some small, I think those are perch or something just swimming around out here. And this is another live aboard boat. And this was something that Terry and I consider, considered a couple times. Of, do we want to buy a boat and maybe just travel travel the Puget Sound? But um, I have been all over the Puget Sound. And so we really hadn't seen much of uh, the United States. And uh, so that's why we decided to do all the traveling. Now this is a um, gill net boat. This is brand new. Again, ooh. It's the Squamish police, and yet they have a big gill net boat. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Oh my. Absolutely beautiful boat. And what's it got? Two big 300 horsepowers? Two big old 300 horsepower things. I'm pretty sure they're V8 engines on an outboard. So yeah, when I was done for the day, or if I wanted to skip part of the day and have Terry uh, pump fuel at the dock and everything, I'd come out here and just fish right out here. This is University Point. The point is right over there. And the salmon would come in this area and they would congregate right around that point. And uh, lots of fun. Many, many hours out there catching salmon and releasing salmon because it seemed like they were always too small. I wonder what these things have for power. I didn't even look at that yet. Let's see. They have for service. Oh, that's the breaker. This side is, uh, it looks like a 30 amp. And a breaker and a 30 amp. So everything's 30 amp out here. And you can see, this is one of the old, old docks. Now they have nice new concrete ones out there. This is what I used to have to run up and down all the time when I worked down here in the 80s. Yeah. So then you got to find time to keep your boat clean because that's what happens there. Look at that solar <laughs> even here down here there's a beauty see that's what i was thinking about terry and i were if we were planning to do something a boat just like that it looks like it's about a 45 footer absolutely beautiful and here's another vessel from the suquamish tribe wow they really have invested some money or maybe we should say we've all invested money because it's from their casino i'm sure and this one is used so that this will run out and get from the gill netting boats and the persaners they will pick up the baskets of salmon and run this because this is a kind of a go fast boat um they will run the uh fish right in here to the marina and like i said they will uh have a rig out there to unload um or to to haul the fish out look at that school of fish wow everything's like in the sun today and so this front whole deck comes down and so they can just drive it right up there on the um at the launch where i showed you and just wheel everything right off 
I'm sure that's a million dollar boat at least. And that looks like about it. They got some of the, the old ones out here. The oldies but goodies. There you go. Needs a little work, but it still floats. <laughs> That's the important part. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lecture because it just dawned on me I'm walking straight into the sun. So not sure what everybody's looking at. Sorry about that. Terry will fix it. Anyways. Hey. Thanks for walking around with me and uh, bringing back some old memories. I sure love this place. This is, this is why I am, me and Terry is so much in love with being around water is just that living here and being so close and living on this water, it's just, it's in ya. And it's just in your blood. So, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay safe and be good to each other.